hey guys welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for joining today if you are new here please do not forget as usual please click that subscribe button below this video and subscribe to the channel all right today's video i'm going to be talking about how you can study in the czech republic i want to talk about the full process all right so that as you prepare for 2023 you should know what is happening all right now um i want to tell you that the reason i'm struggling to pull out this content is because most of us i know that we are looking for materials like this so i always make sure i bring the content so please to help the channel grow more or further Press the like button, that is the first thing, and please subscribe below, all right? We have to be 25,000 at the end of December. Thank you. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about how you are going to study in the Czech Republic in 2023. And in this particular video, I will split the process into how your proof of funds is going to look like, how your medicals is going to look like, how legalization is going to look like, how your visa application is going to look like, and your documents, all right? And again, somewhere along this video, I'm going to talk about booking for visa interviews or applications. I don't know where I'm going to talk, but I'm going to bring that video. So please, if you must watch this video, make sure you watch till the end so you understand what you are going to be doing. Because if you watch one part, you may not know. And please, there are other videos you will watch before this one or you might see on the channel before this one. I will equally encourage you to watch because when you watch them in series, you are going to understand better. Now, without wasting more time, let's go further. Um, I will start with the documents you need before the visa date, all right? The documents before the visa date and before i start with the documents before the visa date remember you need an admissions letter and you need to locate a university check the requirements check the dates apply pay application fee then you apply and you get admissions but the admissions letter is not going to come to you they would always send it to you via dhl when you have arranged all documents and send them to czech republic and they verify to be sure that these documents are true documents okay and the next thing they will do is to ship your admissions letter to you alongside your accommodation contract but first the documents you need before the visa date international passport very important that's document number one i was talking to a girl a few days ago and she told me she never knew that she needed international passport to start her own um uh, um, study abroad journey because she actually booked an appointment before I forget if you need an appointment if you are doubting where to go if you don't know where to go if you don't know what to do and what to apply for and you want to study in the US for free check my Facebook page all right or you check my Instagram of course you are going to navigate to my page or Facebook or you check the links below there are a lot of links below check and see what you need all right now so she was telling me she didn't know that she needed an international she needs an international passport and i was like no that is don't start any study abroad journey or stuff without an international passport it is not nice because at the end of the day you need passport information to submit on the admissions or maybe anything you are filling online now without the international passport or after the international passport the next thing you need is an admissions letter this letter is the document to prove that you want to go to Czech Republic to study. If you are going for touristic purpose, you need a tourist document. If you are going for invitations, you need an invitation letter. I hope you understand. But this is a video for study in Czech Republic. Therefore, we are looking at admissions letter. The next document you need is your accommodation contract. It must be originals. All these documents have to be originals and the accommodation contract will be sent via DHL when you are... Um, when your, your 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 admissions letter is coming to you they will equally add it to to the, the file remember you have already paid for all these things all right so it is not strange to them again again you need proof of funds and the proof of funds i said they are of two types is either you show that you are sponsoring yourself or you show that you have a sponsor and i have already explained in a video on the channel so please if you want to learn more about the proof of funds after you finish watching this video check the video about proof of funds i explain everything and all the amounts all the figures what you need to do and all the rest alongside to the proof of funds is another document called the sponsorship letter it has to be notarized all right now remember i said this notarization document the sponsorship letter has to be accompanied by the bank statement or the proof of funds when you are not self-sponsoring all right and there are details i explained in that particular video please watch that video it is shown on the channel below this one that you are watching okay now the the the, the, the sponsorship letter has to be translated all right into the czech language of course there are a lot of translators around certified translators 
certify translators pay attention to this all right these are the documents you need before you have to go for your visa date all right now after you have gotten a date all right or when you are after you have gotten a date and about to go to the embassy you need to carry these other documents now the documents include a medical report and a criminal record let me break it down the medical report here you don't have to do it before you start going before you wait for the date because you do not know when you are going to be given a date all right it is something that um, you may not know it's called all or nothing law so make sure you get a date before you go and do your medicals all right you do your medical reports because it expires after three months if you don't get it on time or if you do it now and you haven't gotten a date when you are given a date and it has expired you have to do it again all right so this is something you need to pay attention to i told someone like this when she was moving to spain she never listened and she did it two times another person who was going to czech republic she didn't listen so please make sure you pay attention to this and again criminal record you already know where the criminal record is coming from all right in case you live in a country let's assume that you are living a country like maybe uh bahrain or china to come back to your home country like nigeria to apply for the visa now you have been living in bahrain or china for more than six months or maybe above one year and you are coming to china to apply for the visa maybe within the period of three months you need to come with a criminal record from bahrain or china add to the one in nigeria all right because you have been living in that particular country for a longer period you need a criminal record from there i hope you understand then this criminal record you are equally going to legalize it i will talk about that very soon now this is the documents you need all right um before you go for your visa interview now at the embassy remember visa is not free it is not a charity home therefore you have to pay for your visa application all right there is a fee you have to pay at the embassy you have to pay in your currency it depends on where you are applying from but the fee is usually around um, between 2400 to 2600 check kron and if you calculate that money i think it should be somewhere around 67 thousand francs cfa for those applying from cameroon and for those um who don't use cfa their own currency should be around 106 us dollars it all depends all right you have to check the embassy's website for for all the details so that you know what you are doing all right because if you don't check you may not know and this money you have to pay it at the counter when you go for the your, your visa application now your visa application form is another document you need all right without a visa application form you cannot apply for the check uh, visa sometimes they may give you a student visa uh, a national visa sometimes they may give you a schengen visa but all will have clauses all right if they give you a national visa you are good to go if they give you a schengen good to go again remember that you need to fill out the visa application form all right sometimes um it may be given at the level of the but make sure you check the form and sign it fill it well and sign it before you go to the embassy and go early to the embassy go early if you don't go early it is your own cup of tea nobody will be blamed for that all right now after the visa the embassy will send you an email when you finish the interview everything is done all right you are now cool to go back home but after that you have to wait it takes sometimes maybe one month sometimes one and a half sometimes three months it depends sometimes two weeks sometimes one week it depends all right when i was applying for my first visa to turkey i had people that got it that same day but mine was given after one week others wait for two months all right so it depends after the visa has been granted they are going to inform you via email that your visa has been granted but they are not going to give you all right you need to send some things maybe your international passport needs to go there to the visa headquarters all right then they will tell you when that message is coming in that they have given you the visa they will tell you and they will tell you a certain insurance to buy it all right they will tell you a certain insurance to buy and uh, this insurance type you are buying make sure you buy for at least one year if you buy for six months they will give you a visa for six months remember they need to see this insurance and your flight booking before they will give you they will stamp your passport all right they need to see this before they will give you the visa that's stamping your passport so if you buy the insurance for six months they will give you a visa for six months if you buy for one year they will give you for one year if you buy for two months i'm not sure maybe the the, the limit is one year because you need to renew your permit after you reach czech republic i hope you understand so get their insurance very well there are a lot of insurance follow what they will give you but if they don't give you they tell you to go and buy any insurance go to axa insurance or swiss care all right locate any insurance company in your home country that is the best that you know all right that will not frame things up i hope you understand 
so that is something you should pay attention to now you you have finished remember they have already um given you this stuff maybe you can go yourself or you can send your passport it depends but i'll advise you go to the embassy yourself okay now another thing i want to talk about is the legalization first before i even talk about the legalization i will talk about the booking at the end of this video all right so i don't mix up the two things i will talk about the booking at the end of this video booking of visa application i mean so the legalization now this is how you are going to do if you are applying for schools in czech republic like uh, if you want to apply for bachelor's degree of course you need to show your high school certificate and the transcript transcript someone just asked me this now on the youtube comment section so in on my first video about czech republic you need your transcripts all right for high school as well if you are applying for bachelors then if you are applying for masters you need your uh, your, your your bachelor's degree and the certificate all right so that's something you should know now legalization you need to take these uh documents to the ministry all right the ministry of uh, secondary education the ministry of secondary education or ministry of education nigerians have been ministry of education take them to the ministry of education all right then after that you take them to the ministry of foreign affairs remember there are money you need to pay some money i don't know how much but just hold money all right sometimes it's around uh maybe 500 to 700 uh check krona i think that how much should that be you can calculate around 100 to maybe 300 dollars just calculate or when you check um the website you are going to find all the details then when they leave the ministry of education to the ministry of foreign affairs after that they have to go to the czech embassy all right they have to go to the czech embassy that is for um your bachelor's degree and your high school certificate then the other documents that you need that are not going to go through the ministry of education are your medical certificate remember i said buy the medical certificate only when you know that you are about um going for the interview because if you buy early it would expire all right so pay attention to this now the medical certificate must um must leave the ministry of foreign it must not even come from the ministry of education all right when you buy it or when you take it the medical certificate when you finish with it from the hospital take it directly from the ministry uh from the hospital to the ministry of foreign affairs don't take it to the ministry of education all right the ministry of foreign affairs then the czech embassy that is how it's done for the medical certificate ministry of foreign affairs and czech embassy okay it's similar thing like birth certificate for those applying to belgium they already know what i'm talking about because you have to go with your birth certificate to the ministry of foreign affairs all right then for the criminal record same thing ministry of foreign affairs from the police when you get the document from the police take it to um the ministry of uh, foreign affairs and of course the czech embassy all right so this is how the process is going to be and that is how the process is run but first remember the first document and most important thing is your admissions letter for those asking me about study abroad i have, would always say that the best and easiest way to move abroad is uh, going through studies all right try to apply for universities i will talk about universities in subsequent videos that you can um, actually like apply to there are a lot of cheaper universities there are some that are affordable there are some that are expensive so i will talk about that um, then you can get more info then let's talk about the booking now for the visa uh, interview when you are ready to 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 go to the embassy this is how you are going to go about it if your documents are all ready do not send an email to the embassy when your documents are not ready please make sure you get all your documents like the documents you need all the documents i explained before your passport your admissions letter your legalizations and all the rest then those other documents that i mentioned that you have to legalize them at the embassy you can then carry them to the embassy when you are going for your visa interview don't go to the embassy come back before you go again all right but make sure all your documents are ready when you already have the date all right when they have given you a date you will send an email first then you will get the date all right they are the one to tell you when to come now you compose an email and send to them for the subject of the email don't put application for visa you can just put maybe your passport number while you attach the passport in the attachment all right of the email a typical email may just be dear consular or dear embassy my name is this 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 passport number this i am an international student who is seeking for um an appointment to apply for my study visa to the czech republic i recently gained admissions at the university of dash 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 all right a sample email like that you end it short i look forward attached below at my 
documents my admissions letter my passport copy my medical insurance or this 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 or this you understand you explain it like that and you say you are sincerely i look forward to speaking with you that is it you attach your documents and you wait that way it is going to be very very easy for you it's just that a lot of people they don't understand this procedure and they complicate the thing a lot all right as an international student you have to be smart you have to be smart if you are not smart people will leave you behind you understand especially in a situation like this because again there is something if you check the embassy's website all right those of you who don't know it is in abuja nigeria if you check you will see that or the consular website you will see that there is a particular time frame or let me say a particular period you have to send that email if that time elapses and you send the email it doesn't go to them all right so please pay attention to this and make sure you know what you are doing all right i hope this video was helpful i hope it is going i will bring more videos again about when the admissions is going to open please contact me if you need any admissions all right for turkey and all the rest so i can guide you through the process please till we meet again in another one